Today, Mel and I gave a presentation and it was all around the research that NHRA have funded about community experience of the 2022 floods in New South Wales and Queensland. And this was a project that we funded from our Rapid Disaster Response Programme of Work. And it was done with um, a methodology that we've been developing since the 2009 bushfires, which involves in-depth qualitative interviews and also a questionnaire which is then based on those interviews. And we use a very gentle form of questioning. So we go in and just ask people to tell their story of the event. So in this case, you know, please tell us your story of the floods and they can, they can then say whatever they think is important to them. So we found that that's much better than going in with a predetermined set of questions, which really then dictates the responses that you'll get. So this is a much better way of just uncovering, you know, what, what really matters and what's really happened to community. I mean, one thing we can do with the research methodology we've got is we've got the qualitative data that gives us the, the, the really rich information, the quotes and things that make things very real. We've also got the quantitative data, which is the survey data, where we can actually start to quantify the issues. So in terms of um, things that we can do that are useful for our stakeholders, um, you know, we can look at things like sheltering, why people stayed in their homes during the floods, what were the reasons behind that, and explore some of those differences, you know, whether it was to do with not having a choice or whether it was something they chose to do, whether it was something they stayed to do something practical with or they had no options to sort of apart from to stay. Um, but we can look at that, but we can also then break that down by other things. So we can look at different demographics, we can look at different locations, we can look at different aspects of the flood, for example, whether they had a lot of time to prepare on or not. Um, so we've got a whole heap of different reasons and, and things we can explore with that sort of quantitative data as well. And I think, you know, something that was really striking from the findings that Mel and her team found was that I think it was 61% of people hadn't evacuated. And when you look at their reasons for staying, there were lots of premeditated, you know, we're not, we weren't going to leave because we needed to do this and that. Um, and, you know, and of course there were some people who then it was just too late, couldn't leave. But, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't a huge majority of people who said I didn't leave because I didn't understand what to do. So I think, you know, that continual after all of these events that thinking that there's, you know, this knowledge deficit is just not there. I think these, this work really shows that there's a whole raft of other reasons why people are making the decisions that they do yeah. and, um, and it's not necessarily giving them more information is actually going to help.